Good morning. This is Black Crow Walking with A Course of Love by Mari Perrin. And today we are up to chapter 5, verse 22. Your desire to be separate is the most insane desire of which you have conceived. Over all your longing for union, you place this desire to be separate and alone. Your, desire, your entire resistance to God is based on this. You think you have chosen to be separate from God so that you can make it on your own. And while you long to return to God and, to, and the heaven that is your home, you do not want to admit that you cannot get there on your own. You thus have made a life, made of life a test. You thus have made a life of, you thus have made of life a test, believing that you can pass or fail through your own effort. Yet the more you struggle to do so on your own, the more you realize the futility of your efforts. Even though you do not want to admit that your efforts are futile, you cling to effort as if it is the way to God, not wanting to believe all effort is in vain and or that a simple solution exists. A simple solution within your world, a solution that requires no exertion on your part, is seen to be of little value. <clears throat> the individual you reason is made th through all this effort and struggle and without it would not be. In this you are correct. For as you make of yourself an individual, you deny yourself your union with all others. It's a fairly long paragraph, that uh, 522. So we'll just have a look at it and see, then and see if we want to go on. Your desire to be separate is the most insane desire of which you have conceived. What does that mean, desire to be separate? Well, I guess we grow up wanting to have some sort of personality and identity. And we admire people who do, who stand alone, who stand up, out, out, stand out from the crowd, and we admire that. A complete individual. Over all your longing for union. You place this desire to be separate and alone. <coughs> I think a lot of that comes from being hurt too. Hurt by families, hurt by partners. And you think you're better off alone. And I know that story really well. And I know a lot of women who are out there at the moment who are in the same predicament. Well, predicament is a judgment, really. In the same place of wanting to be alone because they have not found the love that they seek outside themselves. They've found pain and horror. So they've chosen to be alone and separate. And we overlay that over our longing for union. 
longing for everything to be the tribe, the, the family. But even deeper than that, longing for the love that is within us, the self-love, the divine love. And using the word God as a metaphor here for love, your entire resistance to love is based on your need for union and overlaying it with separation and aloneness. You think you have, cho be, have chosen to be separate from God or from love so that you can make it on your own. And while you long to, be, to return to, to love or to God and the heaven that is your home, you do not want to admit that you cannot get there on your own. I wonder why we can't get there on our own. I think it's because we've forgotten. We've forgotten we are the very essence of love. We don't really have to get there, do we? We just need to remember that that's who we are. We are beautiful love. You thus have made your life, made of life, a test, believing that you can pass or fail through your own effort. And that's what we do. We do efforting, don't we? We effort to get good grades at school. We effort to have a good marriage. We effort to be a good mother or father. We effort to be a good worker, employer. What are you efforting to be at the moment? I'm doing a bit of efforting to be healthy at the moment. <laughs> a little bit of efforting. Yep. So, have I passed or failed the test? And who's the judge? Me. I guess we're all pitting ourselves against ourselves, really. And it's the same with the metaphor for looking for love outside yourself. It's love looking for love. I love that. <laughs> Yet the more you struggle to do so on your own, the more you realize the futility of your efforts, even though you do not want to admit that your efforts are futile. You cling to effort as if it is the way of God or love, not wanting to believe all effort is in vain or that a simple solution exists. What is a simple solution? A simple solution within your world, a solution that requires no exertion on your part, is seen to be of little value. The individual you reason is made through all this effort and struggle and without it would not be. Who would you be without all this efforting and struggling? Who would you be? You'd still be you. You'd still be the beautiful love that you are. And you'd still have this beautiful internal journey that's creating heaven on earth. I think we just need to remember. For as you make of yourself as individual, you deny yourself your union with all others. I don't think I'll be doing that today. <laughs> I've got a day of union with others from my heart. A day of loving an opportunity to love myself. 
It's interesting, isn't it? Putting everybody else's needs in front of your own. Yep. Is that what we really want to do? Do we really want to individualize? Be the personality? God, that's hard work, isn't it? Keeping that up all the time. Efforting to be... When we are, we can just be. We can just be our true, authentic selves. Without the efforting. Focus today on self-love. Divine love, that's self-love. The internal journey, going inwards. Checking in. What does love look like for you today? Will you be going out and efforting and being the big personality or the small personality or whatever you've chosen to create? Or will you give yourself some time today to be truly loving to you and from that let that love flow out into the world you are this beautiful being you're not your thoughts you're not your story you are your heart of love you are the very essence of this formless being that is divine love inside you. Let that shine out today in a radiant light. Let yourself be the light being that you are. Light being. Being light. Not this dense personality that wants to be heavy in the world by efforting, struggling, survival. But rather be the light being that wakes up singing. That spends time in nature with this love that's inside you. Enjoy your day. I love you. Bye for now.